Jerusalem the golden, with milk and honey blessed, beneath your contemplation, sink heart and voice oppressed. I know not, oh, I know not what joys await us there, what radiancy of glory, what bliss beyond compare. O oh, sweet and blessed country, the home of God's elect, O oh, sweet and blessed country that eager hearts expect. Jesus, in mercy bring us to that dear land of rest, who are with God the Father and Spirit ever blessed. With harps and with vials, there stand a great throng in the presence of Jesus and sing this new song. Unto him who hath loved us and washed us from sin, unto him be the glory for ever. Amen. In his second letter, chapter 3, verses 8 to 9, Peter writes this. My dearest friends, don't fail to grasp this. With the Lord a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is but a day. But he doesn't drag his feet in fulfilling his promises, whatever others might think. Rather, he is patient, not wanting any to be lost, but all to come to the place of repentance. Lord, I meditate on these, your teachings. I consider your plans and I delight in your instructions. I will not neglect this word. Loving God, faithful to your promises, tender and compassionate to all, renew our hearts, grant us hope, and sustain our confidence when time seems to be standing still. With harps and with vials there stand a great throng in the presence of Jesus and sing this new song. Unto him who hath loved us and washed us from sin, unto him be the glory for ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for nothing can separate us from the Father's love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, and as revealed to us by his Spirit. <clears throat> 